today, BMX bikers are gearing up for one of their very first races of the season here in Columbus. Cameron Fontana joins us now from the track. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, Adam and Maria. I got to tell you real quick, Shane, take a look this way. I mean, this is just a really beautiful morning. The sun's coming up over there. We got some of the riders on the track getting ready for their first race of the season today. And with me is one of the board members of Cobra BMX, Gray. How are you this morning? Good, how are you? Good. Now, tell me a little bit about Cobra BMX. How long has this been going on for? We've been out here for about 25 years. And uh, we come out every week and weekend and race and, and just have a blast. Is it just for people that are, you know, in the club, advanced riders, or can new people come out? Anyone can do it. We have people from age two all the way up to age 65. Wow. So later on today, tell me, what time does the race start, and then when are the races every week? The races start at 2 o'clock, so people show up a little early and get some practice and register for the race, and then uh, we just go for it. Now, this is a very special weekend, and you guys do have something special going on there today. Tell us about that. Well, today is our season opener, and it's also Easter weekend. So there'll be an Easter egg hunt for the kids. They can go out and find prizes and uh, and celebrate Easter. And then tomorrow, everybody will go home and do the real Easter. Yeah, so today you can come out. You can come out, you know, try the BMX out, try the course out. And, of course, there's going to be an Easter hunt. And right over here are his two very good-looking boys. This is Miles Say, What up, Columbus? What up, Columbus? How long have you been racing, Miles? About two years. Two years. Is it pretty scary? No. Not scary at all. No, and you're going to see the fearlessness in his eyes. And right over here is his brother, Graydon, say, What up, Columbus? What up, Columbus? <laughs> now, how long have you been racing for? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years. And what is your favorite part about going down this track and racing? Uh, probably about the fundamental of it. The fun and the thrill of it? Well, now, i got to say, you guys are very good looking. All the girls are watching in Columbus. And, uh... You're, you're representing BMX as well. Now, do you like girls or do they still have cooties? They still have cooties. Oh, they, uh oh, sorry, not yet, not yet, ladies. These guys are taken as of now, but we're going to have some fun with them today. They're going to get on the track. We're going to get some tips, even bike safety tips, and get on the track racing here at Cooper BMX. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back pretty soon. Yeah. Good morning, Adam and Maria. Yes, it is a beautiful day. I know I keep saying it, but it is so gorgeous and a perfect day for the races. And right behind me, we have some people getting ready to take on the track, and they're getting ready for their season opener today for Cobra BMX. And next to me right here is the track operator, Chad. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Now, tell me a little bit about the maintenance of this track and how long does it take? Uh, we worked on it all last week to get it ready, and now it only takes about a half hour in the morning to drag it and sweep the rocks off of it. Wow, now these riders are obviously taking this track very well, and you guys are looking to rebuild it, right? Tell us about that. We're hoping to rebuild in the fall. A local company in Columbus is a great track build company, and they're going to rebuild it. Um, basically destroy everything and rebuild from the ground up. Well, because it's been going for 25 years now, so it, it's about time for it, right? It's about time, right. And it needs to be rebuilt for the next generation of riders coming up right over here. I'm telling you, it's ages all the way from 2 to 55. First is Cole. How are you, Cole? Good. This is Kate. Say hi, Kate. Hi. Hi. And Gabby. Say hi, Gabby. Hi. Now, tell me, Cole, how long have you been racing for? Three years. Three years. What's your favorite part about BMX racing on this track? Probably the speed. The speed? You like going fast? Now, i got to ask you girls over here, what's it like to race a bunch of guys? Is it fun? It's really fun. Now, do, are you going to beat some? You said what? I race guys. You race guys? How about you, Gabby? Do you like racing the guys on the track? No. No, you don't? Oh, no. You just want to keep it a girls-only sport, right? Good. Well, we're going to see them go on the track a little bit later. And coming up next, they're going to show us some tips of how to take the track. And I'm actually going to take one of these babies on this dirt track right here. And look at that. ABC6. I got the custom number. It's perfect for race day. So don't go anywhere. We're going to take on the track. Coming up next, we are taking on the BMX track here at Cobra BMX. You don't want to go anywhere. We're going to get some tips from the pros. Wait up. Wait. I'm coming. He's ready to get dirty, too. Well, Adam and Maria, I'm taking precautions first. Of course, I'm putting on my helmet. So we're safety first here at Cobra BMX. But with me is actually one of the professional riders. Tell everybody your name. 
Nice to meet you, Spencer. Now, tell me about how far you've gone as far as competing. I've raced for seven years, and for two years, I've been the number one rider in America for my age group. Wow, so you've traveled a lot? Yes. Do you ride your bike there? Uh, no, actually, my parents are very nice to take me there, so... So they take the car, you don't ride your bike to the nationals? No. Okay, well, I want you to do this. I want you to go right now on the track. Gray's going to come over here and kind of tell me what you're doing so I can get ready to take on this track coming up here, okay? Does that sound good? Yeah. Do your thing, buddy. Now, Gray, what are some of the techniques and skills that he's using that I'm going to have to attempt to use going on this track? Well, what he's going to do on these first, these first two obstacles is he's going to fly through the air as much as possible. But he's also going to stay kind of low to keep his speed Whoa. going. So he'll, he'll jump it, but he'll stay low. And then here he'll do what's called pumping, where he brings his arms up like shock absorbers. You can see him going up and down. Wow. And then through here, he'll probably just get fancy and throw a couple little jumps in, or those are called manuals or wheelies, as we used to call them. Wow, and look at, he's just going through that effortlessly, and I know I keep teasing it, but they are actually going to have me race up against one of the riders here. Now, I will say the age group that they're going to put me in is the eight-year-olds, so I might be able to stand a chance against them, probably not, but we got our Fox 28 number here, and we are going to race coming up, so you don't want to go anywhere. Stay tuned to Good Day Columbus. I'm going to get my practice in right now. See you, Adam Maria. Yeah, I think it's very good that they put him in the, the league with the eight-year-olds. Cameron. I say this, don't, don't go easy on them. <laughs> yes, good morning. I got to tell you guys, look how cute these little racers are. This is Mitchell, Matthew, and Izzy, and they are getting ready to take the track, and they're part of a really cool program here for Cobra BMX called the Strider Rider Program. And we're going to get back to them in just one second, but with me is Chad, the track operator. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Now tell me, what are these for? What ages use these? Uh, these are made for 18 months to 5 years old, and it teaches kids balance before they worry about pedaling or braking or anything, and it's, it's a great program. It works really well. So can anybody come out here, um, bring their kids uh, to do the Strider Rider? We have three liner bikes, and anybody can come out and try it. We have liner bikes and helmets. Great. So today the races start at 2. You can bring your family out today, and then every weekend... On Sundays, they start to race, and we're going to let them go because you guys have to see how cute they are riding down. Are you guys ready to take the track? Here we go. On your marks. Get set. Go! And look at them. They're going around, and we see Izzy's taking the turn on the inside. She's taking the lead, going over the hurdles, but Matthew is making his way through. Oh, Mitchell takes it to the front. And this is just one of the amazing programs they have here for Cobra BMX. Again, the races start today, and they're every week here in South Columbus. So you got to come out here. It's a great time. And coming up next, i got to tell you, I said I was racing some 8-year-olds, but I just want to paint a picture that these kids are bullies. So if I beat – they've been punching me in between the hits. If I beat them, I don't want you to feel bad for them, Columbus, okay? We're racing them next on GDC, so don't go anywhere. You're going down. <laughs> You Look at down. him. Cam, that was You're the best thing I've seen all day. Oh, oh those you. kids were so cute. But they weren't pedaling. Ah. No, they don't need to. That's how fast they are. Okay. <laughs> don't be fooled. These kids are in it to win it. I'm racing against the 7 to 8-year-olds next for Cobra BMX Racing on GDC. Don't go anywhere. You're going down, my friend. You're going down. Good day. It's Cameron Fontana. He's live in South Columbus. And Cameron, I've been waiting for this moment all morning. Yeah, you go. So have I, Adam. You know, it's a lose-lose situation because if I lose to an 8-year-old, I lost to an 8-year-old. If I win, I'm a jerk. But you know what? We're going for gold today at Cobra BMX, and we're taking on Miles, Cole, and Dallas. You guys ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Let's do this. Ready? Watch the game. Come on, pick up the pace, buddy. Let's go. I'm trying. I'm trying. The sad part is I actually think he is trying. I know he is. <laughs> My legs hurt. I don't have the stamina these little kids have. Oh, yeah. They're like little rockets of fire. But they're little. I'm going to try to take this turn hard. Beat a fury. Be careful, be careful. Oh, no, he's catching up to me. Oh, the hurdles are trying. Ah. Oh, yeah, you got to be careful around eight-year-olds. If you're not first, you're last. 
Come on, Cam. You oh, can my do it. Yeah, he'll finish oh. what? Second or third? Oh. Second. That's not bad. Second's third not place. bad, Cameron. Right, second's third not place. bad. I'm happy if I, I just get a participating place, that's too bad. Good race, guys. Oh, I finished third. That's good. Cameron. It is hard. How are they feeling? How are you feeling? We're having a great time here at Cobra BMX. Of course, I'm repping Fox 28, the number. And I'm tired. We're going to talk about some more bikes up next. I think I'm going to get some water. Take a nap. Stop <laughs> celebrating. Stop one. celebrating. Cameron's got served. These little kids, I'm going to throw it back to you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm glad he didn't hurt himself, though. That's that's the good news. I think he did and hurt himself. Did you hear him talking about his injury, his his muscle pains? Well, you know, but he didn't he didn't wipe out. He's getting old.